So I bought a new Samsung 65 inch uh, television. I was able to actually uh, fit it into my old projection TV unit, which is really massive, but it f literally fit. It was pretty tricky to get it in there. However, uh, if you notice, it covers up a good portion of the edge of the TV. And so now my remote control, if I just stand here and press it, the TV will not come on. The sensor is down in this corner. I'll show it to you from the back. And if I get real close, it will make the TV go on and also adjust the volume. So uh, I can't use the remote control from uh, afar. And so I purchased a IR repeater and I wanted to show you how you hook it up. This was the IR repeater I found on Amazon. It seemed to be the most popular. There were some cheaper ones that were USB powered, but uh, there was a discussion that some TVs USB connectors don't actually supply power. So this is the back of the TV uh, and I've got the HDMI cable and the antenna cable connected. And then down here uh, on the bottom of the TV, you can see where the uh, power light is and that's also the IR sensor uh, at the very bottom. Uh, IR stands for infrared and so uh, I purchased this IR repeater. Very simple little uh, box. It has a power uh, plug uh, over here. Uh, power plug here. The uh, IR receiver which is a little box that I put in over here, but I think I'm gonna move it. So this is the IR receiver that comes with the device. And you can place that anywhere and it will pick up the IR signal from the remote. And then you have the I, uh, one to six IR repeaters or transmitters. And I have that one run up here and I have it pointing straight up underneath the uh, sensor and so uh, it will send the signal right to there. Uh, luckily I didn't have to put it in front of the TV which would have been hard to fit in. Um, and so you just uh, plug this unit in with a regular uh, power adapter. So I have it plugged in and then this is the IR receiver. I had it uh, down here, sort of right about here, uh, behind this uh, grate, uh, but it was too low. So I think I'm gonna try to put it above the TV. Uh, but you'll see now that if I just point my remote at this um, receiver, TV comes on and I, anywhere uh, this receiver can uh, identify the signal, uh, I'll be able to control also the volume uh, now with the remote. So I mounted the um, receiver up here, which will line up with that opening where a speaker used to be. And uh, I'm gonna put the uh, cover back on the wall unit which was uh, some of the problem also blocking the uh, IR receiver uh, built into the TV. So now I have the faceplate on and here's the big test. Yeah, baby. I can sit back and enjoy the TV and use the remote to turn it on and off and also adjust the volume, which was just not working. I used to have to come all the way up here and put the remote right to there and it would pick it up just barely. Uh, now with this repeater, uh, it uh, allows me to um, control the TV. Uh, the other use of that repeater is that you could have uh, also repeat the signals to some of your other devices. Some people have their stereo and other devices 
in another room or closet. So these units could actually be put into a closet and uh, you would just use additional IR transmitters connected to that same box and just uh, put them right in front of the devices to uh, let them control those devices. Thanks for watching. Check out some of my other videos in the top right here. And here's a shout out to my son's channel, The Nerd Writer. He makes some really cool videos. Please don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.